Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're Buxton Hughes. Hello, Sarah Buxton. And Jed Hughes. A brand new duo. Um, are not signed right now. We, I was on uh, Lyrics 2 Records. Jed's been on like, five different record labels, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we finally got out of our deals and we were able to make the music that we've been wanting to make. Yes. Totally enjoying the Throwdown Tour. Yes. Um, have, we're in the Bluebird Songwriter tent and, the, and we have the party bus. It's just crazy every night. Yeah. Lots Super of dance parties. Um, Lots of songs being written. Songs being written, songs being played, songs being danced to. Yes. <laughs> it's just been great. It's all music all the time. All music all the time, that's right. But we're getting ready to go and record. As soon as we get home, we're getting ready to go record our record. Um, which is going to be very similar to my old music and his old music. which just yeah. combined. Yeah. Combined. Yeah. Country, food. I bring a little more of a happy element to Jed. And Judd brings way more like of a country, real country, where I'm not off in country pop land. We meet somewhere in the middle and it's just magic, making us real happy these days. So how did the collaboration come together? We met about four years ago at my fiance's house, who was producing him. We sang a song together. Um, we're immediately like we have to do this. The interesting thing was about eight years ago, both of us were being um, pursued by Interscope Records to be in the same band, which we had no idea about until yeah. recently. recently. In the last few weeks, we were yeah. just talking about it randomly. Wow, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. So, what do you have listeners take away from your music? Um, it's just the fact that it's it's real. We try to write about real things you know, that everybody can relate to, and it's. I mean, we really care about the music we make. You know, it's, I like to think it's pretty high quality stuff. I want people to feel. I want you guys to be able to put the music in, and I want you to feel good, and I want you to. I want them to just want to listen to it and rock out and have it help them cry. When you guys want to cry, you want to listen to that song. When you want to rock, you listen to this song. Yeah. I want to do all kinds of things. I want to take you on a spectrum of it. Just like one big therapy session. <laughs> That's good. Get That's good. Yeah, That's a country get listeners like. Get it out. <laughs> do you guys both play um, instruments? Yes. During, like when you're together? When we play, he plays. Okay. I'm not as good of a guitar player. He could be. Yeah, I'm almost as good as him. I'm not at all. Is there a certain theme to your music? Uh, it's just, no, it's just, um, well, I don't know what that would be. Yeah, I don't know either. I've Not intentionally. Yeah. To kind of just what flows out at the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have standards. We play songs, I mean, we play this, a lot of the same songs all the time, but they, sometimes they just turn out being different just because we get inspired by different situations. I love that about about what we do. Yeah, we make different versions of the songs. Different versions. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So what's been one of your uh, craziest road stories so far? Well, mine was definitely staying up all night. I didn't sleep on Monday night at all. I just stayed up all night until, and then I was riding bikes at like 5.30 a.m. As the sun's coming up, and then I went and woke him up, cracking up, doing our rides here. <laughs> um, but we also had a crazy night on Jack Ingram's bus. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. But we can't tell you what happened. <laughs> okay, we'll just use our imagination. We'd have, <laughs> We'd have to kill you. I had a funny night up with Ryan Bingham on his bus, playing video games till like three. That was pretty fun. Grand Theft Auto. Nice. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Oh my god. Scariest video game. That's crazy. <laughs> Well, expect to be hearing more for us. We're going to put a single out later this year, and then we'll have a record out next year, no matter what. Yes. Is there a place viewers can go to 
learn more about you guys. Come to our Facebook, uh, Buxton News, it's B U X T O N H U G H T E S. And um, come to our Facebook, and other than that, we both have records, I mean, out. Yeah. We'll have a single coming soon. Yep. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>